this video what I want to do is show you how a timer on delay is programmed in RSLogix 5000. So I have created a rung here with the basic input and I have moved over to the timer counter bin. And I'm going to do this with a timer on delay. So I'll grab this, drag it down, and my timer is an output. So now compared to RSLogix 500, 5000, you have to create a tag for each individual timer. There's no data table file here. So we're going to come over to the question mark and select new tag. And I'm going to call this timer one. Okay. Now you notice that my type is base. That does not need to be changed. And the data type is timer. Make sure that stays the way it is. This defines your structure of the actual tag itself. So then you're going to hit create. Now this being your timer, this is your name for that timer. Now notice that there's no time base here. So if you're coming from RSLogix 500, this is different. Your time base is set. Okay. So for example, if I want five seconds, I need to type in five thousand and so it's a multiplier of point zero 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 one so I type in five thousand here because your time base is always set to one millisecond so if you have five thousand times one millisecond you're gonna have to put in five thousand to enter that value this allows the PLC to add decimals in so if I wanted 10 seconds I'd have to put 10,000 if I wanted to put in 14 hours I would have to calculate how many seconds that is and then your accumulated will just show the counting okay so I'm gonna quickly add in a very simple instruction here a program so you can see how it runs now what I want to show you is how to enter in the enable bit Okay, because we're going to use this for memory around this push button, is to just start typing in the name of the timer. So, timer one, and don't hit enter here. What you want to do is you want to scroll this down. This has gone through and found the timer that you've created. So, you want to expand this out, drop down. So, if you want the enabled or the timer timing or the done, this is where you'd select that at. So, you come over here, you select enabled, you hit enter hit enter again and this thing's ready to rock and roll this is now the enabled bit off of your timer on delay okay then here I'm gonna go ahead and add in an, a normally closed done contact off of this so again we'll come over here we'll select timer we won't hit enter here we'll bring this down expand out this timer and go to the done bit okay enter and add that in and now if I want to control a light let's say off the timer timing bit I'd basically do the same thing grab this click here start typing it in drop this down go to timer timing hit enter hit enter one more time and then I would just drop a random output in here in this case if I just want to make it a, a stack light stack light one now I have a very simple on delay circuit. When this push button is activated, this will run through and activate the stack light over here. Okay, we'll go ahead and test this by me adding in a toggle really fast. Okay, and I'm ready to download. Let's see how it runs. All right, I'll come over here and I will toggle this bit. The timer is running. The timer timing activates this right away. And when the timer is done, it will just sit here and circulate because I have not shut off my toggle. And there it is. That's how the program works. Let me show you one more time. I'll come over here and activate my toggle. This would be the same thing as activating my push button one. Untoggle it. It will time for five seconds while it's timing. This is activated. When the timer is done, this sh will shut off the timer and your stack light one will turn off. All right. Well, that's a quick introduction into RS Logics 5000 timer on delay function. Thanks for watching.